If there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. We're the armed attorneys. We're on a mission to make life just a little bit easier for the law abiding gun owner by providing fast and factual gun law information. Today, we're talking about warning shots and how they're generally treated in a courtroom. Stick around for our pro tip about less than lethal rounds. And before we get started, please show your support for the Second Amendment by hitting the like button. And so to kick things off, we have to say, what is a warning shot? And this is not a universal statutory definition across the entire United States. But essentially what we're talking about is the intentional discharge of a firearm, not at a person, but our intended target is supposed to be a, a safe direction. And we're do discharging the firearm as a warning to, um, you know, supposedly a threat. And so when we're saying warning shot, we're saying we're shooting a gun off in a direction, not at a target to cause it serious bodily injury or death, but as a warning. Now, what state law does, and we see this across the United States, is a use of deadly force isn't, uh, it's not on a spectrum like we see when you go through, let's say, the police academy, where they say, you know, being physically present in a location or assertive verbal commands all the way, all the way up to a use of deadly force. And you have lots of steps along the way we don't really have a use of force spectrum when we look at state laws. They like to take a use of force and put it into a couple of different buckets, whether that's a use of force or great bodily harm or a use of deadly force, deadly physical force. And they'd like to take some action and try to fit it into one of these buckets. And what we see is the discharge of a firearm is almost always considered a use of deadly force or deadly physical force. And the reason for that being that, you know, deadly force is generally that which is intended or likely to cause serious bodily injury or death. And of course, every state definition varies a little bit. But that's our general idea. And, you know, virtually every legislature or at least if not legislature, it's it's in case law. We've got, you know, courts and lawmakers saying anytime a bullet leaves the barrel, that could cause serious bodily injury or death. And we don't care where it's pointed. So, I mean, generally speaking, this is the standard you'll be held to. And why warning shots are a really bad idea is because they violate the self-defense principle of immediacy. We see this across the states that in, if you're responding to a threat, that it must be immediately necessary or imminently reasonable. We see that show up over and over again. But when we're discharging a firearm and we're intentionally choosing to point it in a safe direction, not at a target to stop the target, we see that, that time to calculate, that time to point it in a safe direction is you know, if you have time to think about it, then maybe it violates the principle of immediacy. Yeah, it weighs against that threat being an immediate danger to your life. Um, and it doesn't mean it's always going to be true, but it definitely weighs against and it's something we see in our practice. Yeah, and it's kind of serving up on a silver platter to the prosecutor. Hey, look, here's a demonstration of a use of deadly force or deadly physical force. And it's also we know it's not immediately necessary because they had time to point the firearm in a safe direction. And so that's why we see it. Warning shots just aren't a, a very good idea. But that brings us to our attorney pro tip of the day. What is our pro tip, Emily? It's about less than lethal rounds. Do not assume that a warning shot with a less than lethal round is going to be a use of force, not deadly force. Don't assume it's not going to violate this principle and you'll be held to the lower standard. Um, we see here in Texas, it is up to a jury to decide whether or not your bean background, and this is actually a real client story of ours, um, is a use of force or deadly force. So you need to be very aware of the law in your state. If you're here in Texas, I mean, do not assume your lesson lethal round is force, not deadly force, because ultimately it's up to a jury to decide. And that's, those are the scariest words that ever come out of my mouth, but that's where we are here. Well, we hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, consider subscribing and hitting the like button and help us fight the anti 2 a algorithm by sharing this video. And please question and comment below. Until next time, we're the Armed Attorneys.